。今天，中华电视摄制组来到了墨尔本 M Z 体育中心，采访了二零一一年维多利亚州中学男子羽毛球锦标赛。接下来由来自 Scotch 中学羽毛队的丹尼谭教练为我们做进一步的解说。And in today's、uh, tournament, there are actually five teams playing in the Open Division. There's ourselves, Scotch College. There's St Kevin's College,、uh, which is just across the river from Scotch. Melbourne High School, who are annually a very strong team. We have Marlborough College, relatively newcomers, but we believe they're setting up some sort of、um, sports program there. So we expect them to be quite strong, and we also have Glen Waverley Secondary College. Again, another traditional、um, school that's traditionally strong in badminton.、Uh, Glen Waverley being highly populated by、um, Asians. So who should we be looking out for today?、Um, we're only playing three singles and four doubles today, so it really will count if you have outstanding individuals, at least one or two of them. Unfortunately, we perhaps lack that. Uh, Melbourne High would have it, and St Kevin's College certainly. They've got a new player、uh, who is an under-17 state champion. So I think it would come down to between St Kevin's, Melbourne High, and hopefully us.、Um, look, I reckon all schools are pretty strong in their own way, like because it's made up of the whole team. So just because the first person is strong, the first seed doesn't mean the rest of the team can win because it's a team sport. So. I guess we all have our own strengths here. So, which、uh, which college you want to play against? Well, it was my, our privilege to play with Melbourne High today, as they were they won last year as well,、um, and we had a very very close game with them. We lost four three, which was、um, a little disappointing. But we think we like all our、um, training and stuff paid off pretty well today. I knew Melbourne, Melbourne High was going to be hard, so I didn't expect us to go this well. I thought we were going to like win. I mean, lose, lose straight away, like without even using all our strengths and stuff. But so far, we've turned out pretty good.、Um, what's worrying me is that、um, Saint Kevin might be strong too, because last time we versed them APS, they were good, but we just barely won. And yeah, yeah. I mean, like most of the state players are here today, so that's that's very fun and challenging to play with.、Um, you don't usually get to play with them,、um, but yeah, I reckon it's a really good chance today. It's definitely not a friendly game.、Um, tensions run very high here. And how high is the standard? Well, there are several state players playing here today, so they are representatives of Victoria. And some of them, in fact, are within the national junior team, so the team is very strong indeed. Actually, there are many、um, Australians of European descent who are also very good players, as you can see just from today's play.、Um, but of course, because of the popularity of badminton in Asia, I think it's a natural procession that many players、um, are of Asian descent here too. But don't forget, some of them are born here; they're not from overseas. So they are Australians at heart,、um, completely. Yeah, there's a lot of Asians here because,、um, yeah, everybody, like all the parents and stuff, they would probably tell them to play badminton. It's because it's pretty great sport. I, I like it very much. It's very fast and、um, competitive. Yeah. You see lots of boys from Asia. So,、yeah. how do you feel that、um, Asia against Australia, which one is more stronger? Oh well, there's like a mix of people here, so it's, it's really、um, up to you. Like,、um, yeah, they're pretty even. Like, there's not much difference here. Yeah. I've seen Australian people who play really well, Asian people who play really bad. It doesn't matter. Just train. If you train hard, you get what you play well. Uh, well, coaching at Scotch College has been、um, a dream, really. It's been a fantastic opportunity for myself、um, because I was a former student. I started there in prep since 1992, finished in 2004, and I'm still there today in 2011. And coaching them has been fantastic. I played in the first badminton team there and was their captain. And now to be able to be their coach is just great.
Uh, does it have its challenges? Yes, it does. I mean, there are, you have to manage different characters, but I suppose that's all part of the job. Uh, like, you have to do all so sorts of training, like um, endurance training. You do, like, running, um, squatting, push-ups, sit-ups, just to work on the body. And then um, you also have to spend time actually training, doing drills, just, say, practicing um, the one drill, say, for example, uh, smash for, like, um, I don't know, a whole week or something, or maybe... Yeah, it takes a lot of time and effort, I reckon. So as a youth coach, it's important that you make trainings fun and interesting. If you just do drills non-stop, it doesn't really appeal and you turn them off. So we try and make it as fun as possible. <laughs> yeah, the training's tough. Um, Danny makes us train really hard, like, even when we're not playing badminton. In the holidays, he makes us run, he makes us um, do drills, shuttle runs, all the, all the footwork and stuff, so we keep him fit. If you're like just playing socially, um, it's just like easy to play. But if you're training hard like all these guys have, um, it's quite hard to play actually. in Australia, why you choose badminton? Well, uh, I chose badminton because, uh, first of all, my dad is from China, so he likes to play badminton, and um, we played it as a leisure sport at the beginning, but then um, after a while, um, I started liking it. And well, my dad plays badminton, so since young, I played with him. So for, uh, only four years ago, uh, he and I went to like, formal training, and um, we just trained until I got to this standard. So it got me interested and watching TV shows was really the reason why I played badminton. Um, I've been playing for like five years already. Yeah, I've been training constantly and um, yeah, just I'm at a decent level now, I think. It's a, a hard game to get started with. Um, once you can get you hold the racket the correct way and um, learn how to serve and, and then move your feet, it, it, the school level picks up really well. And all the boys that play badminton, they're, they're really um, um, uh, sociable and, and very, and they're willing to excel as much as they can. And these boys are just naturally good to start with. And then they just get their um, coaching up well and um, they just improve and excel. We have Victorian and national representatives and Commonwealth Games representatives for the youth. So, um, so we've been very fortunate just to get the luck of the draw of all the good boys. I started playing when I was a kid with my parents when I was about 10. And then I started training about in year 8. So yeah, it's been about three, three, kind of three years now. So, yeah. I uh, started playing grade two and just started training grade five. So it was a long while, like five, six years ago.
did you uh, feel badminton is it compared to other games like um, other sports? Yeah, I think it's fun. It's like it's different to other sports because you know you use like feathers and stuff, so it's different. But it's fun and it's like fast, so it's fun. Yeah. So which which part you feel is very hard to play badminton? Like uh, which technical we say? Ah, uh, fitness. Too much, too much running. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I started about three years ago and yeah I started training about two and a half years ago and I started playing state competitions and I did really well so it got me motivated and I kept playing badminton because yeah, it's a fun sport, it's a good sport. Uh, my parents got, got me into it as a kid so I was playing when I was about six or seven and then I started training a bit after and played competitions soon after that. So what kind of reason you want to play badminton? The enjoyment, the exercise, and yeah, just keep fit. Yeah, and it's good competition, it's good socialising and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so how did you feel today you performed? Uh, we performed alright, yeah, we're playing. we're playing well, but yeah, it's kind of hot in here and stuffy, yeah. so yeah. We've had some pretty challenging games. Uh, I think I've performed at my best already, and yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. I don't know. I just like the sport. It, it's different to the other sports, like. The ball's different. The ball's the ball isn't round and it's like it's a shuttle that you have to like it's different to control. Um, you can't do curves and spins and all those tricks to it. These are Victorian medalists at yes. Commonwealth Games. And so we have uh, Peter Blackburn, yeah. who won men's doubles and mixed doubles uh, bronze medal in Victoria, Canada. Lisa Campbell, our second gold medalist. Uh, she won gold uh, in Canada, Canada Commonwealth gold Games. Gold. Mark Nichols, who was Peter Blackburn's doubles partner, won bronze. Rhonda Cater, who was Peter's mixed partner, yeah. Rhonda won um, bronze in Victoria and in KL, and Michael Scandalera, who is our first medalist at Commonwealth Games, he, gold won, medal. he won a gold medal uh, in Scotland with Audrey Swabing. Um, 
and they were, un they were unseated. So unseated. there are gold, there are medalists, and we've got one more to add from um, oh, the most yeah. recent Commonwealth Games, Rosie, yeah. who yeah. won a bronze medal bronze in ladies' doubles. Yeah, badminton in Victoria is going along pretty well. We've got um, we've got quite a lot of members, but we have a, an awful lot of social players who are not registered and whose numbers we can't really capture because they play once a week for an hour with their friends. So we know there's around 20,000 of those uh, and we have about four, four and a half registered members. Badminton is very popular in school communities, surprisingly so, um, in the fact that we've had record numbers in, in the primary school competition this year and again record numbers in the secondary school competition uh, that we had to separate the boys and the girls in the secondary competitions to fit them in. Well, the Asian population, badminton's second nature to them. It's, it's like a national sport in China, Malaysia, Indonesia, um, and it's a minor sport relatively within the Australian community. But we encourage the Asian communities to get involved. In fact, we receive funding from Vic Health and Sport and Rec Victoria to deliver programs to culturally and linguistically diverse communities new arrival communities and women. So we've, we're very much into delivering programs for the Asian community and new arrival communities. The boys today were extremely high standard, um, probably the best standard we've had in the last six or seven years. Uh, the team that won it had several um, state and national representatives, um, just as well some of the other teams had one or two as well, um, but the standard was extremely high today. Badminton um, Australia have bid for the World Teams Championships, which is called the Sediman Cup. It's run every two years and it rotates uh, to different countries. There's a bidding process that goes on. Um, Badminton Australia are now in the final stages of that bidding. We're down to us and Malaysia as the two countries and uh, Melbourne is the potential host city for this. In my uh, visits over here, I'm looking sure the, uh, the uh, venue logistics, the venues, the facilities are to the international standard requirement to badminton, which uh, more or less I think uh, you have that uh, requirements. Uh, it's just now how to coordinate that into to make that event, yes. Oh, that'd be okay. oh, lovely. That is our what's that? This is squash cuts. Oh, squash cuts. Yeah, you are, you're quick on that. Yeah, that's a yeah. But this is not to scale as in equivalent yeah, scale. You can, around see, around that, yeah. you can see how the size of this, and then the. Uh, so actually, this is a play tournament area. Right? Yes, a tournament yeah, area. Yeah, right. And this, this one that they split into yeah, the yeah. Okay. into the two halves. Uh, Sudiman Cup is a world mixed team championship uh, where it's uh, held every two years once and uh, every two biennial, uh, biennial it's, uh, its bidders are called to bid for the event and it's uh, comprising of uh, five events, men's singles, women's singles, men's doubles, women's doubles and mixed doubles. We're really pleased that Venner is able to come out to Australia and visit Melbourne to um, have a look at our venue. Um, and be taken through a tour. Uh, hopefully we've provided all the answers to Venu. Um, he'll now need to go back and write a report to the International Federation uh, who will decide on the uh, winning bid yeah. uh, in early December. Yeah. So we're trying to make a really good impression and uh, show him uh, badminton in a really good light in Melbourne. Uh, we think we've got a lot to offer with uh, transportation, accommodation yeah. and the facilities all under the one roof we think yeah. is a brilliant result. So in early December the International Federation will make a decision uh, after a presentation is made by Badminton Australia and Badminton Malaysia and on the 9th of December we'll know whether we've got this World Teams Championship which will involve the best players, best countries in the world um, 40, 45 countries will descend on Melbourne. Um, it'll be an absolute feast for, for badminton lovers. 下面请欣赏一些精彩片段。
won the winners for another time was Melbourne High. Look, the, the boys have worked really hard. I've had most of them for three or four years and they've, they've played really well over the, the years and they've just come together as a great team. My, my job now is really just motivation and getting them there and on the court on time. They're, they're, they're fabulous boys and you know you can have a better group. They lived up to what they wanted. There's always a tough match here and there but it's a team game and if one's just going down the others um, pull, lift up and uh, win the match for us. It feels real good. I'm loving this thing. Thanks to everyone because it's not just me, it's the whole team and our teacher as well and without them we wouldn't have been able to win today.